Y'all, today I got a special treat for you. We are gonna make a big old half pounder burger, smoke burger, mind you. We're gonna do it on our new Blackstone pellet grill griddle combo. It's gonna be some good groceries, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all, a friend recommended to me, I check out this LML burger from Leroy and Lewis. It's a restaurant down in Texas. And by golly, when I saw that, I said, y'all, I have got to do this burger. It's not a real intricate burger. They smoke it first, sear it next, okay? And they do things a little bit differently than the way I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try my best to make the LML burger from Leroy and Lewis down in Austin, Texas. This right here is 80-20 ground chuck, and this is ground Wagyu from the Ozark Beef Company down in Missouri. And what Leroy and Lewis does is they take brisket trimmings and then they cut it with uh, some other meat to get enough burger because they don't have enough trimmings. I'm doing things a little bit, again, you don't want to get at this. You don't want it like a meatloaf, guys, uh, and get it really tightly packed. This uh, Wagyu is still a tad bit frozen, but that's okay. But we're making this a monster. This is going to be some monster dang burgers. Like I'm talking half pounders, eight ounce burgers, and we're going to smoke them for a little bit. Got our burger ready. But now we need to go over and get our smoker ready, okay? We're gonna go really low on this. I'm talking like 225 degrees, y'all. That way it gets a nice little bit of smoke, goes really low, really slow, and doesn't uh, band at all, okay? Banding means it's really, really hot. It cooks that top piece and the bottom piece. That way it's just nice. I I'm going for like a medium here, almost maybe, maybe even medium rare, but medium for sure, okay? We have Bear Mountain pellets into this, okay? And they are, I think it's a cherry, a oak, uh, and hickory, or something, something like that. Really, really good pellets. Let's get our burgers ready. I got a scale and I want to do, like I said, uh, about a half pound burger. Eight ounce burger is pretty big. There we go, eight. That's eight on the dot right there, eight on the dot. And if you got a burger press, that's cool. I don't have one with me right now. So I just got this nice mold uh, that I like to use and I'm gonna lightly pack it into here, okay? Nice, compact, good night in the morning. Look at that thing right there. <laughs> That's about bigger than my old gourd head right here. Man, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. I'm gonna pat out the rest of these burgers and I'm gonna meet you over at the smoker, all right? All right, we got four almost eight ounce burgers. For whatever reason, this one came out to be about 6.8 ounces. I don't know how that happened. Somebody jipped me somewhere. I thought they were one, I had two pounds. Should be four burgers at eight ounces each, but they didn't. So let's talk about seasoning. Leroy and Lewis uses basically the Texas rub, which is salt and pepper. I'm gonna do a little different and I'm gonna go with old heifer dust. Link below if you want to get some heifer dust. I think it's really good. Does good on burgers. It's got all kinds of goodness in it. Cause these burgers are big. I wanna make sure you get those sides. We'll put this down first onto the smoker. We have all of our patties ready, seasoned on one side and the sides. We're gonna come over to the grill. We're gonna put them on. We're already at about 239 degrees. Give that a nice coating of the old heifer dust. We just wanna make sure we monitor that internal of that burger. We want it to take it off about 120 degrees. Then we're gonna put it over onto the griddle, get a nice sear on it. Whoo hoo, should be good. All right, the next part of the l and burger is they did uh, diced sauteed onions. Uh, and they did that just on a, on a griddle, a, a plancha. And so I got the griddle here, the side of my pellet grill. I'm gonna take a little bit of bacon up and I got some diced onions. I'll season those up. I'm gonna use a little bit more of this heifer dust just to season those up. Sauteed onions take a good little bit, especially nice. You want them nice and caramelized, nice and brown. We'll let these go and bring you right back, all right? We've got our onions going. Our burgers are almost ready. They're night. They're smoking nicely. We want to get our buns ready. And y'all know what buns I like. I like these Martin's potato buns, potato rolls. They are so, so good. So we're going to put a little bit of mayonnaise down. We're going to toast them up because that's what we do. Do mayonnaise, do butter. To me, there ain't one right or wrong way. I just don't have any butter out here. Put our buns down. It ain't gonna take long cause this griddle is really hot. Ooh, look at that, boys. Whew. Put that over on our cutting board. 
Put you over on our cutting board. You too, buddy. It's hot. I should probably use. I should probably use my spatula. The good thing too, we cook those dang onions right there. It's gonna get that flavor. Woo! It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna give these onions a flip. Boy, look at that. That's a nice caramelized action right there. All right, guys, it is time. Our burgers, they've been smoking for, I don't know, it's been about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. It was going at 200. It's time to get these over onto the griddle. Those things look great. All right, we're gonna get these over onto our griddle. It's nice and hot, I got it on high. Woo, you hear that? Turn our pellet grill off. We're just gonna get these, we're gonna put a nice crust on these. That's what we're looking for. While we're waiting for these, I'm gonna get some uh, mayonnaise back onto our buns. Cause, well, it's a hamburger. State law, mayonnaise, okay? Let's see where our burgers are. Ooh, yeah. Those are some big boy burgers. We're gonna take, put our diced onions on each one of these burger patties. Plenty of onions. Now, cheese part. Use whatever cheese you like. Y'all know what I do. American cheese, Kraft Deluxe. Put two pieces on there, cause this is a big old burger. It's a big old eight ounce burger. Once it melts, we're gonna get it over onto our buns and we're gonna finish this bad boy. Oh man. Oh, that, my friends, is a burger. Good night. Look at that, dripping with juice. On the Leroy and Lewis version, they just took and put some pickles right on top. I think they may have put the onions on top of the cheese. I thought the cheese on top, then onions, and then the burger. I thought that might do well. Now, this is optional. Now, I'm, this is, I'm just hussy in this. I thought this Sweet Baby Ray's secret sauce might be good. I want to add just a dash of that onto there. And that, my friends, is a hussy version of a L and L burger from Leroy and Lewis. It looks amazing. Gosh, man, I cannot wait to sink my teeth in this burger. Let's see what this cross section is looking like. Let's see what this look like looking like. Ooh, doggies! Look at that. Nice and medium, just like we were wanting. That's a big old burger. Let's give it a try, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I get that smoke. Smoke's coming through. Mmm. Crust is really nice. The heifer dust, I taste the heifer dust, the little saltiness. Caramelized onions, man, that work good too. Cheese, nice and creamy. Mmm. That burger's good. Mmm. Not a thing wrong with that. Good night in the morning. Y'all, this is pretty awesome. Well worth the little bit of work, it's not that bad. Secret sauce is good too, by the way. Mm. One of my top burgers in a while, guaranteed. That smash burger was good, it was better. I do sometimes, I like a big old burger. Y'all, it is that time. It is time for Good Groceries of the Week with your boy, Hungry Hussy. My first person I want to outline is Smurfy826. She made some dang delicious Wagyu smash burgers. And man, I'll tell you what, they are something I'm looking at them right here. I like to have them too, along with these burgers that I'm eating too. Michelle's always posting some really good stuff. Michelle, I really appreciate you tagging me. I really appreciate you uh, just supporting me over the years. Last but not least is my boy, Jason Black. Jason Black's be killing it. He's over in South Cackalack. He's throwing down some good groceries too. Just tag me in a nice, little healthy little chicken bowl. Man, I tell you what, I'd love to sink my teeth into that myself, come on. Tag old hussy so you have a chance to be featured in one of my episodes too. Y'all know what else I like? Some bloopers. Today, a friend of mine recommended me make this burger from, it's called the, that gar, I, I don't want to make that too long winded. Uh, I tell you what, <clears throat> where's that from? Yeah, what's that? Ozark, what did you say it was? Ozark Valley Beef Cup. Man, those things are huge. You think, uh, 
Think you can eat something like that, Jacob? Well, we have a whole one. Not a one, what kind of thing? What kind of person are you? All right, burgers, they're done. <sighs> burgers aren't done. <laughs> Our burgers are padded. We got them seasoned on the one side and the sides. Let's come over to the grill. <sighs> Not the griddle, the dang grill. Why do I keep calling it griddle? Because there's a griddle beside it. The black zone. Yeah. Oh, dang, I keep hitting this dang thing with my foot. Dang. The dang caster. That's the second time. The other one I was midstream and I, and I actually caught myself. Levels. Check, check. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. That looks awesome. Hey, I appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you 